in evolutionary astrology, we all realize that we create our own belief systems. And from our belief systems come our values. From our values, we, we create our desires. From our desires come our needs. And from those needs, we make the choices of action that we make. And from those actions, we create reactions, the wheel of karma dharma. <laughs> And so Venus comes in there in regards to the needs, and it comes in there in regards to the values. And when we are working with Venus and needs, we come down to what are the essential needs. What is it that we need in order to survive, in order to take care of ourselves? Well, via today's society and the patriarchal conditioning that we've had on the planet for especially the last two to 4,000 years, We've all learned how to project those essential needs outside of ourselves. If I just find the perfect lover, if I just have that perfect job, you know, it's always <coughs> the separating desires that are outside ourselves. This is how we are taught to associate our Venetian needs in today's world. And so those of you who open yourself up to this type of knowledge as in evolutionary astrology, you're learning to let go of all of that conditioning. You are learning to get to the essence of what Venus is. The essence of the essential needs of Venus is learning how to take what you are searching for on the outside and find it within. And so anytime you have the disappointment, the disillusionment, the pain, the letdown, whatever it is that leaves you, you know, what is wrong, blah, 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 the jealousies, the possessiveness, dee, dee, dee. You know, go through all the emotions. They are all just outer reflections of what you are needing to bring within and learn within you. So again, Mars is that function within us that helps us take these unconscious desires of the soul and make them conscious and help us work with our, our becoming, our state of being. Well, again, as you have heard, most of our desires tend to be of a separating nature. And not only with Mars, but with any of these planetary principles of energy, one of the things that Jeffrey has said is that that planetary energy by house and sign will many times be that projection of that energy. And if you want the answer, you go to the polarity point. You go to the opposite house and sign. So this is something to take into consideration when we're dealing with this Mars principle of energy. You can all look at your own charts. You can find where Mars is by house and sign. You can probably relate to that energy. You know how you go out there and act upon things. You know how you instinctively initiate your process of becoming. Well, you can take a moment and you can look to the polarity point of Mars as well to get some answers, to get some completion, to get a key on that path back home. 